With the Omicron subvariant expected to become the dominant strain in Ontario amid another pandemic wave, officials are encouraging people to stay up to date on their vaccines. A team of researchers is pointing to a new tool they say could be key and save lives, determining how much protection an individual has. The beauty of this new test that we developed that we call new satin is that it can measure and quantify in, in less than one hour exact amount of neutralizing antibody a person uh, has in its body uh, after the infection or after the vaccination. The team, which includes University of Toronto professor Igor Stagliarp, says the lab-based test is just one part of immunity that can play a significant role to determine levels of protections against the virus and its variants. It's a pink prick test. Uh, we only need a couple of drops of blood. Uh, which we basically incubate with the three reagents that we prepare in advance. Uh, we incubate one hour and read in a special instrument. Compared to other similar tests, researchers say new satin would be more accessible, affordable and faster. It's uh, very fast, it's accurate and it's cheap. It costs less than three Canadian dollars, which can be performed in labs. We can test more than 100,000 samples a week, basically, because it's a automized uh, and robotized uh, tests that can be done on a large population in a, in a very short time. Researchers say they would also be able to test against new variants down the line or help determine when someone can get their next COVID-19 shot. I think this is very important, although I have to stress out that CDC still does not recommend to use this neutralizing antibody test as a mean to recommend new boosting or not. And this is due to the fact that there are at least 20 other neutralizing antibody tests on the market and they are not standardized yet. He says that would require larger, more complicated studies. The team is collaborating with a Quebec-based vaccine maker to test efficacy against Omicron and subvariants. And researchers are also currently in negotiations to license the test with the company. I would like to see this test uh, being available on the market in the fall and winter when it will be really important for the Canadian population to get tested. For City News, I'm Faiza Amin.